So, hello everyone. Taja hao. That's in Chinese. Uh, I'm from Japan. Uh, today, I I present you about a GNU token. That is a cryptographic U USB token, uh, which is free. Implemented by free software and uh, free hardware design. And uh, I I'm explain I explain about the GNU PG SC demo, which is a kind of a driver for the token. And uh, oh, choo, 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 choo. The, this is a talk of mine, my experience to have better control. Control means by its user, not by government or not by company, and uh, of computing for privacy with dedicated device of minimized features. And uh, what's NUC? The NUC. Uh, it's a FSIJ project, uh, free software project and uh, free software initiative of Japan. And the uh, implementation of, it is an implement, um, implementation of cryptographic token. It is a bit harder for me to pronounce it. C -c cryptographic token, <laughs> yeah. And it support open PGP card protocol, version two and version three. And it runs on STM 32, uh, 32F103. Uh, it's typo. Yes, it, it's ARM um, Cortex M3. And it support RSA 2048 and ECC. And uh, somehow it works with RSA 4096, but it's so slow. It takes about eight seconds or so. To sign. And uh, the name GNU comes from GNU and NUC uh, because the, at that time my son used to re require NUC everywhere or every time. So this is a logo of GNU. And uh, it is a software implementation. The, so GNU means the software itself. And uh, we call a device GNU token when it runs GNU. So there are many, many hardware implementation where GNU support multiple devices. So there are many variants of GNU token, actually. And uh, oh, sorry. This is a kind of. Oh. 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 Wait a minute. So yes, this is a better. And uh, this is a presentation mode. Uh, it was a print printer mode. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, here it is. So, uh, this is a picture of the structure of GNU PG processes and the uh, device. Uh, we have multiple components software of GPG front end and uh, P entry, GPG agent, and directly manager, and the SG demo. And uh, we have a GNU token here. The major reason why we have uh, many processes or software components and uh, hardware component is that the, to minimize the attack surface. This is a most important point. And uh, here, this is a typical use case of GNU token. Uh, by concrete example of my daily hacking life, I have a, a computer 
on the go like that. And uh, I have a computer at work and uh, at home. Uh, among those three environments, I use single GNU token for, for my authentication, signing, or uh, decryption. So the, it can be solved by copying a private key to each computers, but uh, it increases attack surfaces, surface. So the important things for me is no more copy of my private key on different computers. So I use single device. And uh, it should be separate dedicated device which is removable from computer so that computer only supply power when it's actual use. And uh, it should be physically smaller so that, uh, so that the user can bring the token uh, conveniently. And uh, those are uh, things I have learned. Uh, controlling my own computing is getting harder and harder. You know, we have uh, many software components these days, and we have to use, say, browser, which is so complex and, and, uh, comp and uh, extensible, and uh, loading code from the internet, I mean some JavaScript extensions, uh, it is very difficult for me to control such an environment. So, so I wanted to control at least the computing for crypt cryptographic operations. That is a major reason why I, I, I choose the single device to only to do that. And uh, random number generation, random number sequence is very difficult things. Uh, my, my tentative conclusion is that nobody should control uh, the particular random sequence generation. Yes, this is most important part uh, I have learned. Yes. And uh, speaking about uh, freedom, not only software tool chain, but also we need uh, some uh, free software implementation tools like KiCad, OpenOCD, Siglox, and so on. Thanks for those projects, we have a free software implementation. And, uh, and uh, we use some hardware tool. I mean that JTAG access hardware, those firmware should be also free software. And uh, thirdly, difficult things is that I ask manufacturer of the, my device. And the computer in the factory it could be major attack vector. I mean that uh, malicious guy install very malicious feature inside that computer, then all the device I ask will be suffered. So computer use in factory is also important. Yes. And the distribution of the product is also important things. Yes. And uh, now here is a small history. I started the uh, GNU project in 2010, October, and with Olimax board. And then uh, here, is a, here was discovery. I discovered that um, evaluation board 
by ST, the STM S Discovery Kit. It, it is an 8-bit computer the, uh, uh, evaluation board, but we have a USB access by STM32, and we can uh, somehow abuse that part of the kit for GNUC. But uh, it requires some electronics knowledge to, to use that part. So I supported more, more board by GNUC, but the people uh, requested some li good, yes, difference implementation. So I designed uh, my own FST01 in 2011, and I asked uh, Seed Technology manufac uh, for somehow mass production, 1,000 pieces in 2012. And I have updated the design in two, two years ago, and I manufactured 300 in last year. And uh, soon after it started, I, I found that the host side support is very much important, not only the firmware itself. And so I have, I, I have to, or I joined GNU PG development in, uh, in 2011 to improve SC Demon. <coughs> and uh, SC Demon is uh, access access smart card through CCI the leader. Uh, it is a kind of difficult software because of we need to support ma proprietary things. Proprietary card leader, proprietary cards, and uh, some proprietary operating system, and so on. So, I think that if you are a smart card user for for GNU PG, I, you perhaps feel smart card access it has been improved. And uh, now it can support multiple tokens simultaneously if you choose uh, in stock driver of GNU PG. And uh, here is a hardware design. I use KiCad for PCB design. This is done in 2011, and uh, this is uh, FST01G, another one, the update version. And uh, so lastly, I'd like to address some many other things. Flushing MCU, I used to use ST-Link V2, I have to reverse engineer the protocol, USB protocol, and I wrote some tool for flashing MCU. And I, I need to implement random number generator. Uh, it, entropy source is the ADC sample. And uh, I need to design firmware update, and this can be the varied, varied attack vector. We have uh, experience in some product. Uh, firmware update could be attack vector. And uh, uh, here is a difficult part. USB design require USB vendor ID. Thanks for FSIJ. Uh, we have a official one. And the manufacturing, I, uh, I depends seed technology in Shenzhen, and they can distribute the product too. And uh, I have to develop my own thread library because existing RTOS, the, they consider more is better. But uh, more means <laughs> larger attack surface for me, so I need minimum one. And the GPL compliance issue, we need to somehow deliver source code to user and GPL itself. I, 
at first, I tried to put everything in the serial flash on within the board, but uh, it, I encountered the failure because manufacturing cost matters. It takes time to, to, to make a copy if I, I ask factory to do that. Okay. And uh, so I only deliver GPL itself by device. And uh, yes, this is a mostly difficult part. How to deliver such a device? Yes, we need uh, trust. So basically, I prefer delivering in person. But uh, Free Software Foundation, since 2015, kindly deliver my device. Yes. And uh, in two years ago, I wrote uh, my own tool for flushing, flushing uh, my firmware in factory. And uh, here is the source code access. And uh, last year, I implemented USB emulation so that we, people can, can learn GNUC without no real hardware. Yes, and uh, we have FSF, GNU PG project, Debian, and FSIJ. Uh, they support GNUC, pro, GNUC uh, implementation or distribution. Yes, here is a hardware suggestion for GNUC. We can use blue pill. It's very cheap one, two, two, one euro or so, less than two euro. And uh, ST-Link version two clone is also can be target to GNU token. Yes, and it is available at FSF shop. So summary is like that: free software, not only free software, free implementation, free design and tool environment is important. But uh, someone have to do some dirty work. That's all. So any quest questions? Uh, here's a reference. So few, uh, two or three minutes for questions. Uh, we have two minutes. Uh-huh, two minutes. What are the differences between the Linux and Windows operating system? Mm -hmm. Linux is a recent version. Recent version lacks uh, uh, serial ROM because it discontinued in five, five years, yes. And I updated the uh, regulator because of the discontinued part, yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, from the software view, it's the same, yes. Okay, so the lastly, uh, in the flight I saw the, uh, sorry, I don't, I don't have later, please. Uh, uh, I watched uh, Blade Runner 2049, and, <laughs> and, uh, and the laser set to K. Join us, please. Thank you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.